G'day guys, how's it going? So I just bought myself a GoPro. First GoPro I've had for many years. The last one I had was the original GoPro Hero, I think. Like first generation. Maybe first generation, I'm not sure. It was ancient. I think it shot in 720p. Yeah, I've got one, uh, the GoPro Hero Black 9 mounted to my windscreen there that I'm looking at. And uh, I've got my old Ghost Drift S, no, Drift Innovations, Drift Ghost S, up in the windscreen, uh, facing forward through my dirty windscreen. Testing it out, I think, uh, I think it might be time to get back into YouTube. It's been many years, many, many years, I think, since I've made a video. So, uh, yeah. And since I don't have a motorbike anymore, I sold my uh, BMW about three years ago. It's my third summer without a motorbike. Yeah, since I don't have a bike anymore, I have a car. I uh, can't do moto vlogs, so I'll, perhaps I'll do driving vlogs. I don't know. It gives me an excuse to go somewhere too. But first up, first mission is to get a coffee. Holy dolly, what's going on here? Hey, future sounder here. The drift. Isn't going to cut it. <laughs> Looks like a second GoPro is on the cards. The, the quality is just not there. Even at 1080 at 30 frames a second, it's, uh, it's shocking compared to the GoPro. So hmm. I'll leave it in this video just for, uh, for reference. But yeah, there it is. Maybe I'll park over here, walk up and get a coffee. What time is it? That's 12.17. I wonder it's busy. It's lunchtime. Perhaps I won't get a coffee. It's going to be crazy busy. Yeah, bugger it. No coffee. Let's get out of here. Alright, so a quick little drive around town just to test this setup. Um, the GoPro's shooting in. 4K 24 frames a second. I don't need 60 frames a second. I kind of like the cinema, cinema type look, so not 30 frames a second, we'll go 24 frames per second. It's busy. What's going on here? This sleepy little town really uh, does get pretty busy sometimes. So yeah, this GoPro, it's, it's bare bones, I've got, I don't have the media mod case, I don't have an external case, so I don't have an external microphone, so I'm pretty much relying on the inbuilt microphone, which I hear is pretty good, but obviously it's going to be no match for, uh, no match for a good external microphone. Wow, traffic, what's going on here? mismatch between the quality of this camera and that camera. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll have to get a, a second GoPro. Then I'm going to have some time warp, time lapse, whatever you call it, B-roll footage, sort of travelling between places. The drift can do, I was just, just looking at the settings, I haven't used it for so long, but there is a time lapse function, which would be taking still shots every so many second intervals, like 
don't I don't know think I don't think I've ever used it and I don't know whether it um, stitches it together themselves and by itself it'll stitch the images to make a video file or whether it just saves them as images oh that's vibrating on there something's something's vibrating something's rubbing on something might just be the camera hopefully it's not the camera so the GoPro is stuck there with the windscreen mount um, and I do have it powered by USB but unfortunately because I don't have the media mod case or anything I have to have the door open but I have tested it and it will run directly on USB without a battery so if the battery does slide out <laughs> that's no big deal
boat over there. It's maybe a bit more than a two-wheel track, but it gets pretty, pretty boggy, pretty wet, soft after a rain. Potholes. So I'm going to have a look. I'm not sure whether I'll go through there. Not that I'll get stuck. I just don't want to get the car too filthy. So, yeah, um, so far, well, this is actually my first test of, of using it, but I like the features of the GoPro, the Hero 9. I tell you what, it's leaps and bounds ahead of my old original GoPro. I haven't bought, I haven't bought any of the, the four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I switched from the GoPro to the Drift when I was motor vlogging, and that was followed this channel, that was many years ago, four years, five years ago, yeah, but just the ease of setting up this GoPro is, is bloody amazing, like the connectivity with your mobile, I use an Android phone, I've got an old Samsung S9, and connects seamlessly via Bluetooth, and then when you want the Preview, it just seamlessly connects via a Wi Fi network. Um, yeah, simple, easy. You can control it all remotely from the app. Although there's some settings you can't change in the app. Like, yeah, what do they call it? The Pro Tune settings? Like, yeah, uh, exposure. ISO limits. This bit of the road's not too bad, but just around the corner here. It makes us dry weather only. Someone's been here, I can see tracks. Boggy went wet. That's it. Shits and giggles, let's drive in the rough bit. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a bright, bright, bright day out there. I'm not sure. I can't remember the settings I used on the on the drift. I think its exposure is just zero. I've got a bit of a hole here. See if I bottom out. No, no good. I'm just in two-wheel drive as well. Actually, it would be interesting to turn on the horizon leveling on this while I'm doing this, because the camera would stay at horizon level. But the whole car would be going, whew. So instead of moving with the vehicle, yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Well, that's a bit deep. Too late now. Oh, nearly bottomed out. <laughs> nearly got stuck there. Well, not really. I'm not even in full drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. Get up on the ridges. Yeah, so the horizon leveling, that would be cool doing this stuff where the car's sort of twisting and going on angles. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, I think I'll have to get a second GoPro. Although they're, um, 
think they're like $450 in the US. I got this one for $5.99 from Harvey Norman. I spend the fortune at Harvey Norman. The nearest one to me is in Mount Barker. And they're good. Good guys. Um, they had it advertised at $6.28, but JB Hi-Fi have them out at $5.99 and Harvey Norman price match, which is good. Yeah, so a second one, another $600. None of them are really cheap. I can't remember what I paid for the drift. I'm pretty sure that was fairly expensive. That was a really good helmet cam. I really like it. It's got a, um, instead of the lens being fixed, you can rotate the lens to suit the orientation of the camera. So the camera doesn't have to be straight up and down. But yeah, with no image stabilizer. Excuse me, with no image stabilization, I'm not sure the quality of the of the final image, whether it'll be usable or not. So when I get home, I might I'll, uh, that'll be a message. When I get home, I will, I'll swap it around and I'll do it. I might do a time warp video. It's got two, two, it's got a time warp and a time lapse. Oh, that's a big hole. Let's see if I can stay up out of that. Um, I might do a quick drive from Strathalbyn to Ashbourne, which is a pretty scenic drive. I really should clean my windscreen and uh, yeah, see how how the time warp and time lapse go. The other thing, I've been out of vlogging so long. I used to do all my editing with Final Cut Pro on a MacBook. Um, I had a MacBook Pro and I had an iMac. Now, over the last few years, they've both shit themselves. The, MacBook Pro still kind of works, but um, it just randomly shuts down like it's overheating and powering off. Well, that was a long track. Um, and the iMac, I think the graphics card or main board shit itself was when I booted that up, it's just got. You hear that? That's mud flying off, off my wheels. <laughs> all the mud clearing from the tread. Um, I was saying, yeah, the iMac shit itself a few years ago. It's just as when you boot it up, it's got vertical lines down the screen. Yeah, it's a shame. I've got some good software for the Mac. I've got Final Cut Pro, which I love using. I've got Logic Pro, because I was learning how to play guitar and software packages like that that aren't cheap and that I just can't use because I don't have I don't have access to them anymore. So I'm thinking maybe I should buy another MacBook or or a MacBook Air is that what they're called? They've got this new M1 chip which apparently is the chip. Um, so with an M1 chip in a MacBook Air is that good enough for video editing? For running Final Cut Pro? I know you'll probably need a uh, external hard drive for the storage of the, the big video files, but as far as processing power, can the MacBook Air edit video? I'll have to, I'll have to do some research on that. No trains coming? spec MacBook Pro. I hate doing half ass shit. <laughs> if I'm going to buy a MacBook Pro, I want to get a, a decent one. <laughs> a 
good processor, plenty of space, plenty of RAM, but the price, jeez, it just gets up there, it's too, it's expensive. MacBook Air on the other hand is under 2000 is it good enough? But then again, only about a year ago I bought a, an Acer Helios Predator, I think it's called, a laptop. It's heavy, it's a, it's like, I don't know how much it weighs, it's like, it's got to be four kilos, maybe, it might be an exaggeration. And I do have DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing software, and it looks quite powerful, I just have no idea how to use it. Um, so yeah, perhaps I should just save that. Don't buy it. Don't buy that. I don't need it. I don't need it. But it would be nice. If I win the lottery, I'll buy it. Thank you. Bumps. Yeah. So, well, here we go. This, this video, I shall edit this Put it together with DaVinci Resolve on my Acer Predator. Hello, future sounder again. I ended up using Adobe Premiere Rush on um, on my PC. Um, I don't have it on my laptop yet. I only just got it today, and it's uh, quite simple to use. So I just didn't have any luck with DaVinci Resolve um, for some reason. I couldn't use the GoPro clips. So. Adobe it is. It goes alright, it's a good it's a good laptop. I actually use it I can use it in VR, uh, like run X Plane in VR. And VR needs a pretty hefty uh, graphic card. It's got a it's got a RTX twenty sixty. Well there was a dead sheep, but it's just a I don't know, it's the guts of something. Or the offal. Like someone's killed a killed a cow there. I saw that. Um, oh look, look at that view, that's pretty. Hopefully the, uh, the drift can capture. The prettiness. It's beautiful, everything's starting to turn green. May, it's winter next month, so things are greening up. Had a bit of rain. This town in winter is the centre of town is beautiful. I'll take you for a walk down there one day. I'm not sure whether they've actually done that. Um, there's this park in the middle of town where the river, the Angus River flows through and there's an Anzac uh, garden there. It's just oh, picturesque. The big old uniting church. Spectacular. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'm nearly home. I'll um, flip this camera around, do a quick drive on time warp setting, maybe. And thanks for watching. I shall catch you all later. <laughs> See ya.